Airtable is the greatest. Uh, if you're gonna need to keep records of things and you want to put them in some sort of spreadsheet for those kinds of, you know, types of bookkeeping or whatever, I would say don't use Google Sheets. Instead, go and do uh, specifically Airtable. <laughs> I love air hockey. No, 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 Airtable. Airtable. It's really good because the thing with Airtable is, okay, so uh, let's say you make a Google Sheet. You can make a record, right? A singular line, a horizontal line that has information relating to whatever column names you have. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's it. That's all it is. It's a line and you write all the information in the boxes as you go left to right. The difference with Airtable is that when you make different sheets and you have different records on them, you can relate a record to a cell. So you have, you have sheet A, you have sheet A, and you have a line and it's like someone's personal information. It's like name, address, phone number whatever. You could then have a fourth column that's like resume. Always a pleasure to see right? you when you are on just chatting. I Thank love to you. ramble too and your I rambling tell. has a pleasant coherence. Because you typed so I much. I now switch to lurk while I game Because <laughs> you typed so damn much. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Anyway, Airtable, guys. I have to tell you about Airtable. Why it's so great. It's important. Okay, I promise. Airtable. Column A. Name. Column B. Address. Column C. Phone number. Column D, resume. Now, what you do is, obviously, for name, you write a name. It's just text. For an address, you just write text, an address, phone number, same thing. Just some text. That's fine. Resume. What can you do in Airtable? You can attach an image. Ooh, it holds different types of data rather than you just typing. Yay. More so than that, you could have a second sheet, a second tab with a new sheet that has people's resumes broken out into sheet form. And then anything that's on a horizontal line could be referenced. So in the first sheet, you could take that cell and you could reference that entire record from the other sheet. And it can pull up that whole horizontal it's entry like as a thing. The fact that you can nest things into your spreadsheets from other sheets is great. And I think it's a goaded feature. And while you could technically make things and tools that do that, I think Airtable does it the best out of the box, and that's why you should use Airtable anyway in this essay, I shall blah, blah, blah. I think if you do anything with business, if you run your own business, uh, there is no better tool for keeping notes on your people and who does what, blah, 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 than Airtable. It's actually the best one. Also, fuck Microsoft Access. Please use Airtable. <laughs> And as I say that, Byte says, I just use MS Access. No, 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 no. Get it out of here. Bang, bang, bang. That's me shooting it. Bang, bang, bang. I hate MS Access. Use Airtable. It's so good. It's so good. Anyway, Airtable, great. Is Access that bad? Not necessarily. I just don't like it. I'm, I'm just speaking from my, uh, my perspective, which is fuck that. You said fuck every single fucking Microsoft product? No, but the thing is, I love Excel. <laughs> so, nah. <laughs> I love Excel, though Google Sheets has been killing it, so I kind of don't need Excel anymore necessarily. I don't know. Anyway, use their table. It's so good. It's so good. And honestly, you can make it look nice, which shouldn't be a big deal, but it is for a lot of people. It, it, the fact that you can color code things, the fact that you can more easily and quickly create little drop downs, then, you know, it would take you more time to do so in, in Excel or in uh, Google Sheets. The fact that it's just very simple to do all that kind of stuff in uh, in Airtable. I think it makes people more likely to use it, especially if they're not, you know, by default, a big tech person and likely to do this stuff, you know, by hand anyway. Most people, while they know, not actually most people might not know, but while a lot of people do know, you can make little drop downs and reference another sheet for, you know, a data type or whatever that you can use a drop down to select in a cell. Like a lot of people know this, but they either don't know how to do it or it just takes time and they don't want to take that time. Whereas making that happen in Airtable is a lot quicker. The UX is nice. And check out Airtable. Been using my own little homegrown app for this. Yeah, just just Airtable just covers the bases. I don't know. I use like Airtable and Trello for anything that I'm doing casually. Anything just uh, that I need to organize my life with. And that's just, uh, that's all you need. You don't even need all that. But you actually, you don't, you don't need Trello in addition because Airtable even has the ability to do Kanban views. So you don't, you literally could get the same functionality. So you don't even need it. <laughs> you don't even need it, man. I don't know. I like my tools. I like my apps. I try not to overuse them though. I use Google Calendar somewhat, like I said, sparingly, just where it's needed. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't really use any other tools to help me. And I, I only use those tools when I really need to. I use Figma for going and like uh, whiteboarding stuff out. I use FigJam, I guess. But uh, just for individual projects, not for everything. Trello, my beloved, bought by Atlassian and immediately ruined. Yeah, yeah. I still use it. I still like it. But God, I wish it was kept separate.